What is up everyone? So today I'm going to be setting up my 3 feet turtle tank over here. I just got that yesterday. And um, it's for my 4 terrapins that I've adopted. And I've just got some of the stuff here and honestly I've no idea how I'm going to do this but well, I'll figure it out by the end of it. Oh and by the way, check out my shirt. <gasps> it's so cute! You can see the betas here, the fighting fishes. I love this shirt. I couldn't find a turtle one but um, one day I will find one. But yeah, so 3 feet tank for my 4 terrapins. Let's go! Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to show you what I got. So I got this 3 feet glass tank and I also got the lighting. So this is the lighting just for the tank, the 3 feet tank. And this is going to be their basking area. So that's gonna be fun. So what I'm thinking is they're gonna crawl up from here and go to here and go and bask. Um, how I'm gonna do that, I have no idea. But um, I did get some of these wood stuffs. These are from Daiso, so they're great. Um, they've got some suction cups and we've got some artificial leaves because I've tried using um, real plants and they have destroyed the entire thing so I don't think I want to go there again so oh yeah I also got some sand so some aquarium sand let me show you they're over here so I've got four packs of those and of course I got a big filter filter is this it's a canister filter that I got because before that, I was using the Hydra 30 but the problem with the Hydra 30 was that it didn't have any biomedia which houses like good beneficial bacteria so I'm going to use and upgrade it instead to this canister filter over here and hopefully the water quality is going to be better and because one of them actually has a little bit of a swollen eye now poor little baby but I'm going to take care of that and make sure that the water quality is going to be better with this canister filter. Let's start! Alright, so before we start, I'm just gonna tie my hair in a little ponytail. Alright. Alright, cute. Let's start. I'm gonna start by cleaning the tank first. Maybe I'll remove all of the cutboards. Lighting that I'm gonna use. Just going to see how it looks. Pretty. Whoa. I'm just gonna start wiping down my tank. Paper, towel, wet it with water. And a shiny stool. One down, one more to go. Alright, I am going to need to... What do I do next? <laughs> I'm going to wash the sand. Alright, let's go wash the sand. Rinsing the substrate. I'm gonna need to get a siphon after this. I think it's enough. I'm just gonna do the same for the next three bags. We're gonna go put it in. Two more bags to go! I've done two bags inside the big tank and inside that small tank. So far I've done one bag but I think I'm just gonna fill up that one. A little bit more of one whole bag so it fills up. Alright! So I'm just gonna smoothen it out. Okay, so now I have my four bags of sand all in the tank. Two bags in the big one, two bags in the small one. I feel like I want to fill the small a little bit more but I'm actually a little bit scared that the two bigger turtles are gonna crawl out so I might just leave it as that first and I'll watch how it goes. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of rocks and um, things just to spice things up and uh, we'll see. Okay, next. 
water. I'm just gonna add some anti-chlorine. So I'm using the Nutrafin one. So according to Ian from To Aquarium, I'm gonna use 40 ml for this 3 feet tank. And I'm just gonna use a clean spoon to measure. From the 5 ml one, so I'm gonna use 8 spoons of that. Oops. So it's just a water conditioner, so if you can see, it says tap water conditioner. So good for fishes, good for terrapins. I'm just going to put eight spoons in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's with one pail of water in. And I put in the water conditioner and I'm just going to top it all the way up. Wish me luck! Second pail. Okay, more to go. Whew. I'm only like here. I got like more to go. Okay, so here's the thing. I've never had a canister filter before. <laughs> so I'm just gonna read the instructions to set it up. Alright. We have it here. Gonna open it up this filter. First time unboxing this filter. Alright, let's see what this baby has. Okay. We need to pull it up with this. Okay, so this is the main canister. And into this box. Inside. That's it. No more. So let's open this up. Yay. Oh. Okay. So we've got a whole box of accessories and the user manual. Some of these, these, much of these, and a tube. Let's figure this out. <laughs> Siding. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it up. And then. Okay, so this is just the regular filter sponge. Yeah, okay, so I guess I'm supposed to wash this. Okay, I'm, I guess, do I have to rinse this? I don't know if I have to rinse this. Do I have to rinse this? Right at the bottom, I have this. Do I have to rinse this too? Doesn't say. Okay, I guess I do have to clean it. What polyester mat? What am I missing? No idea. What is a polyester mat? I don't know. I'm gonna quickly rinse all of these. This is the Biomedia for which is essential for terrapins, apparently for good bacteria. So I'm gonna rinse this and all the sponges and the baskets as well. Be right back. I have decided that I would want to use these. To cook it in here and to just create a drift over. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna get more sand um, because I think I wanna fill it up a little bit more. But I'm just gonna push one side of it over to make that a little bit higher. Let's see how I can show you that. Okay, I just realized another thing I have not set up the light, so I think I'm gonna set up the lights first. So I'm gonna set up the white lights for this area. These are the three feet lights. So the thing about terrapins is a lot of people just buy terrapins and after that just release them. Please don't do that. Terrapins are a big commitment. You know, red yes lighter, they are a very big commitment. Especially here in Singapore. So unless you can get like a big tank and you want to afford that, then yeah, you can definitely get one. Get through here. Let me Pull it through to the other side. Just gonna plug that in. Oh, 
Do you see that? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna turn it off for now. Okay, so now that I've done the light setup, I'm just gonna move the sand over to one side. Uh, I'm gonna move it all from this side to the other side. So now I'm just going to fit and adjust the lock so it fits up there perfectly. So I'm gonna start with these first. Right now, I'm just going to start with these. So I'm going to match these two together to form one long piece. So I'm just going to unravel the wire. Make sure it's really tight. I'm just going to loop this through. Just make sure that this works really well. I'm gonna go over, pulling it really tight. Flip. Pulling it in. Tying my knot. Flipping it back over, just making sure that I can make this tight as possible. So honestly, my main concern is just that the, the terrapins won't get hurt by this. So I'm just going to stuff this down and in. Okay. Okay. Now we have one full piece that is bendable. Nice. Let's do this up. So I just came back from the aquarium. Honestly, I am so hungry right now. Um, I went to get more goodies as you can see here, like three bags worth because I realized that I actually needed quite a bit of stuff just so that I can build up like the best thing that I can for my little babies but first I want to say thank you Heha for the food because I'm so freaking hungry right now and you know as you guys know I am I like to eat good healthy stuff so these are their okra chips or like ladies finger chips and it's made from just three ingredients which is ladies finger rice bran oil which is great and salt that's it and that's amazing. So I'm so thankful for this. Thank you so much, Heha. And by the way, if you want to get $10 off, click on the link down below. So here it is. Mm. So good. Alright. A few more. And then I'll get back to the tank. It's been a long day. Okay, so right now I just went on a second trip over to the aquarium to tour aquarium and um, I've got quite a couple of stuff so I'm just going to make some changes. I'm going to grab some of the sand from the big tank over to the small tank for the basking area um, just because they were out of the same sand but it's okay, I got out of gravel. Um, that is okay for terrapins and I'm just gonna shift that over first so that it fills this a little bit more easier for them to dig and to nest and I'm gonna set this up I got some rods you know I got some egg crates and things like that I'm gonna build it up very nicely so we'll see I'm just gonna pop them in and I'm just gonna leave it till tomorrow to really do the landscaping and things like that just because the water is really cloudy right now and I did get a recommendation from Ian saying that I should do a 80% water change tomorrow. Um, I am also going to put in this black carbon block, this one here, just to make the water less cloudy overnight and then tomorrow do the water change and hopefully by tomorrow everything settles um, and we can really start to see the whole tank come alive with terrapins. So I'm just gonna pop these babies in. So pretty. Let's two. Let's two. Ooh, look like a crazy person. Now that I have um, 
all of the substrate in so I've got the sand, I've got the gravel and I've got some of the decorative stuff so I have the rocks in as well um, I'm just going to very quickly also pop these plants in so I got these, so these are actually safe for terrapins um, if they eat them so these again, you know, it's for decorative purposes but I know that I'm going to have to get more because the last time I did put live plants in the tank it was completely either destroyed or eaten up so I will replenish this from time to time but I am going to pop these little babies in as well um, I probably should rinse them first so I'm going to do that yeah. Good morning guys next day and now I'm just draining the tank and I'm not wearing my fish shirt anymore but that's okay um, so I'm just draining the tank till it's about 80% I finally bought a tube I bought a hose just because I refuse to use the bucket anymore so it's draining it now and I'm going to just show you my new bridge that I've just made very quickly so after having lots of thoughts I just decided to make something that is completely um, different from what I had initially had in mind so I'm just gonna show it to you oh yes so one more thing I wanted to say was the reason why I wanted to make this this way was because I wanted it to be something that is easy maintenance so if ever one day I actually do need to take it all apart and then put it all back in then I think it'll be very easy to do just because turtles are so dirty so the terrapins especially since I have four of them now um, they are actually really dirty creatures so I want to be able to take this out easily and to be able to wash them and dismantle them and just put them back if I ever have to so just putting it out there just in case and while the tank is almost done I'm going to show you how the bridge looks like first tips <laughs> I guess the tank is done Ta -da! what do you think essentially this is how it looks like and I think it looks great I hope you like it. Okay, so I've just done the water change and changed 80% of the water. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm, is actually I'm going to play around the landscaping. So you can actually see the activated carbon. It's actually right over there. I'm going to hide it because I don't think it looks really good. And then I'm going to play around the rocks and things like that and try and make it look even more beautiful in the tank. So we'll see how it looks at the end of it. So I wanted to show you guys why in the first place I wanted to put sand as a substrate here and then I've got my gravel as a substrate here because when they come up here I'm thinking when they come here and now that they crawl and they've got sand all over themselves and then when they come down here go you can see that the sand goes back to where it's supposed to be so it makes the it makes the whole tank look a lot neater so the sand goes back to the sand and then they can swim around here and it can go back up again anytime they want so I do have my UVA UVB light over there and then we do have the tank light over here so more or less I think it looks pretty much done and I'm going to start bringing them in here to swim around are you ready for the moment of truth? gonna bring them in so apparently it's gonna take time for all of the the little particles from the sand to really settle down but that's okay I'm good with that that looks great over here with a UVA UVB light and I'm loving a little bridge here okay it looks cuter on the side and let's bring them in here I love your new home hope oh look at the sand and you'll love it Oh, it's so cute. What's love doing? Oh, it's so dusty now, huh? I'll clean that up. Oh, I love it in the sand. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Like, he literally just evened out that hope. Thanks. And I guess I do have to tie the plants down somehow. Hey, Charlie. 
Are you gonna go to the basket here? No. Nope. Where are you going? Turning around? Where do you wanna go? You wanna go down? No. Okay, go back to the water then. The water is here. Make sure everyone how you go into the water. How do you go into the water? <laughs> What a big splash! Bloop. Oh yes! So the bridge is looking really fine. So I've got my grass patch here. Take me down back here. And hopefully they'll be able to find the basking spot. Looks like Hope is looking at it. So what you doing? You love it? You like a new home? You loving a new home, Hope? No? Oh, you're so cute. I love you. You're so cute! Just chilling in the corner. I mean, I've given you so many places and that's very chilling. I'm actually loving the gravel. It actually does make it look good. I can't wait for the tank to just clear. Um, seems like this is not going to stay for a long time, so we'll see how it goes. But pretty much, I'm loving the setup. Oh my gosh, you literally are such a messy terrapin hole. You know, I may just. I may just regret using sand as a substrate after looking at this. Alright, so before I forget, I'm just going to show you how much I actually paid for all these. So you can actually see I paid about 465 in this receipt. And this is at Toe Aquarium. And then I got I went down another time and I paid another $98. This is for the rocks and things like that. So, and then I went to get some hose and things like that. So that is about, I did get some of my own stuff. So let's just say half of this. So that's 50 bucks. All right, so if I have to take my calculator. So that would be 465 plus 98 plus, let's say another 50 bucks. And that makes it a total of $613 altogether. So that's kind of how much I paid to create that setup right here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the tank being set up as much as I enjoyed setting up for the little babies here. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot. I'll just link down below all of the products that I got just to create this whole beauty right here and I think it's pretty simple and everyone can definitely make it but you just need a little bit of patience especially when making the bridge and things like that so I hope you enjoyed it I hope this inspires you as well and please if you want to buy a terrapin please know that this is the kind of setup that you need and you also need to have enough space and enough budget also to set this whole thing up so $700 is all you need to create this setup um, as compared to the one that I am dreaming of but maybe one day I'll actually custom make a tank like that. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Do click like and subscribe below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodaloo! What's life without sun selfies with my little babies? Which no one can see right now. I love them. See you guys next time.